Art Therapy TV, where we make good medicine. And through a very long, difficult journey of depression, anxiety, um, suicide, a multitude of problems, and on behalf of the community, and on behalf of the men and women who are now here, and some of them who are gone, uh, I reached out to the community to see who would be interested in giving back, and it was unanimous. <laughs> Where would the, the funds for the programming go? Like, uh, I guess the Canadian Mental Health Association has uh, branches across the country. And... Yeah, every year is different. Last year was very much uh, focused on women and their families, so they're starting up a new program um, called Enjoy, Enjoying Your Baby. The stories from Sailor Seas, where we will bring you on a journey, West Coast Indigenous perspective. We will explore arts, culture, and politics from grassroots as well as community perspectives. With the crime rate on a steady decline, Canada could be seen as a very safe place. A policy enforcement officer, that's what uh, the police are, the RCMP, uh, they're actually policy enforcement officers. You know, the peace officer, policy officer thing, I, I think a lot of people might find that confusing. You felt like maybe uh, your taxes were not being utilized properly? Yeah, like okay. it's not really contributing to society. Officer is, if this were a note, to, to serve and protect, and that's not what they seem to be doing, and that's, that's why we want to make it change. Stories and standard death. Today's episode is all about childhood. Today, it's about art. I want to show you stories from your own backyard. The stories in standard depth. Under the night sky, Raven told the men about the world, for they did not know anything about it. They listened and ate and asked questions. What is all this stuff? So we're looking for good bitumen, you know, the dirty oil sands that comes from the Alberta tar sands, and you got to get it from the oil spills that come up on the, the beach. Yeah, training, Which, queen and training, queen and training. Are you a matriarch? Uh, I wish, I wish, he doesn't like me. Because God does work through us, and I'm singing gospel songs. So there's a lot of pieces that God has keeps on putting in my life.
Hey kids, Wildy Salmon here. Uh, I was on my way to uh, my watershed and then I ran into um, Finn here, who's uh, hosting a hot trivia night for the Mossum Creek Hatchery at Centennial School. That's a total mouthful, but you'll get it later. Well, fish questions, and uh, you know, you have such a smiley face and such a mean looking shirt, and you know, <laughs> like really ridiculous uh, environmentally salmon related inside joke questions. I don't think these are my fish eggs, they're kind of big. Hi, my name is Wildy Salmon. I'm a lost fish. As part of my natural journey, I return to my place of birth, known as my watershed. In my latest journey back to what I thought was my spawning ground, I come across this big city with tall buildings, roads, and cars populated by creatures that they call humans. It's all kind of foreign to me. On my journey home, I get to know these humans and what they're all about. So perhaps they can even help me find my home watershed. I look pretty good, eh? Yeah. It's been a bit rough up. Are salmon actually blue? Um, when they're not feeling good, they they get depressed. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, well, they're Is that blue. what happens before they get smoked? <laughs> so. So, are you spawning right now? You're red. Uh, yeah, we're spawning and we're just about to die off. You look kind of young. Well, it's just the way it is in the salmon world. Uh, well, it's the Wildy Salmon Show, so. The family program. Try it and see what happens. Well, okay. Okay. It doesn't taste very good. Well, you may see me as a fish, I'm more than a dish. Am I in your culinary dream and not in your stream? If you remember, my ancestors spawned in November, September, or October. Hey, we're all over, over. We're in a red, in a bed. We're not dumb, but we could be a chum. Coho or pink, don't you think? Some say we stink, but that's when we are dead in a red with eggs in a river bed. Peace, love, wild Simon forever. I will introduce Simon because we're going to talk him about his fishing, his past fishing habits. Will. Hi, Wildy Salmon here. We have the vegetable showdown. Corn, tomato, and peas. And we're supposed to vote for our favorite. I've decided to give peas a chance. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, give peas a chance, right? I think that's my eggs. This your ball? Yeah, I think it's one of my eggs. Looks like a basketball to me. I don't know. They, uh, I don't even know if I carry eggs or not. Just, yeah, so what's a basketball? It's a basketball. You got to uh, dribble it and you put it in that hoop there. Oh, okay. That looks like an open net fish farm. <laughs> it's Wildy Salmon here. This is a party for the planet. So I've got to figure out what is a planet and what they are partying for. I'm Wilby Salmon, looking for my watershed. Her nombre es Will. <laughs> I spawn in your watershed. Uh, what are you? Uh, I'm a fish. You're a I'm fish. a salmon. 
Country cool. tail. Awesome. I think. <laughs> you know, it'd be you'd be much better at it if you were uh, a little bit more fit. You know. Okay. Look like you can use some exercise. Are you talking about practice? No! What are you talking about practice? <laughs> practice your exercise. Oh, okay. Because I don't want to go into the pen, the open net. That's apparently looks bad for me. So. Well, nobody wants to go into the pen. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, trees and nature. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I'm looking for my water chair. Get in shape. You know, like jogging, lifting stuff. Never done it. No? Ne never, never. I'm usually over in the water. I'm actually, I'm looking for my watershed, and then, then I, I thought that was my eggs. So, and now it's, and then you're here, so it's, you know. I see. Okay, well, you know what, I bet your search would be a lot easier if uh, we got you in shape first. Okay. Yes, fish friendly, human leg, alternative transportation. <laughs> Back to you, Wildy. <laughs> Show me, dude. Uh, we'll start playing some basketball. That's a good way to stay fit. I'll just follow you. Okay. Yeah. I'm start, starting to fall asleep there, okay. There you go. Oh. Like, Can I have some it's a mic. Thanks. Okay. Like, yo, Will the Salmon here at the Fingerling Festival in Port Moody, which is also, uh, well, whose territory would this be, I guess? Uh, Musqueam, Tsleil-Waututh, holiday season? Quiquitlam and Katesy. Katesy, all right. Yeah. All right, so uh, what's your name, sir? My name's Mr. Sam, Dean Sam. My ancestral name is Stiloaks that comes from uh, northern port of Vancouver Island. Oh, you're in Chanel, or uh, no, I'm a little bit uh, Nanaimo and uh, Sardlip, Coast Salish. Okay. Yes, yeah, say those cheese get you covered, eh? Yes. Nice. Find out where the sockeye crews, wild salmon, children. Check this Wildy Salmon here reporting from the uh, Fox Cabaret. And apparently, we're going to uh, check with the rumor if uh, the mayor has been smoking salmon. This is a very serious um, political controversy that he's smoking a fish. Uh, we don't believe he has a permit, and we're gonna find out. And we're also gonna see if we can do some street side interviews. Hey, can we interview you? Can we interview you? Can we interview you? Don't eat it! Don't eat it! No, don't eat it! Don't eat it! Cut. Don't cut. Well, don't, don't cut me. Whatever you do, don't cut. Take you on a hunt 
all the places we used to meet. I find you alone, riding pavement rail, causing chasing those hopscotch memories. You're scaring me, the change I see, longevity. But the days in the sun crowd around us have waited. The days in the sun crowd around us have waited. The days in the sun crowd around us have waited. So set me straight, the lights move away from you, away from your heart, your so terribly cold. By the way, you're gonna be stopped at the spot, so keep your stars wrapped around our lies in the night. Tell my soul to the sky, on my mind, beyond grace. And gold in the blue, could you feel? What I feel, could the colors of your mind be unwound? And isn't it upside down? Couldn't you fight off the world just to lose in another round? Just leaving the trees and the stains on your knees for a view from the top of the edge for the most terrible of trends for the vicarless of friends hey 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 Never speak. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, guys! On to the box here. <laughs> I just don't have them with me. It's a, uh, I'm a zombie, Sammy. We'll be in some other nature over there. She's got a whole bunch of like flowers on her. I'll pollinate that. I'm, I'm gonna have to go over there and pollinate with Mother Nature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be careful now. <laughs> you know, there's bears and other. You pollinate the wrong thing, you can get in real trouble. There you go. Oh. What are you trying to teach me? <laughs> I'm a catfish. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Can we interview you? I wish they hate me. Why? They intimidate me. It's over there. Well, it's, not that it's, it's not that close. It's not that close. The animals, salmon like you, and our orcas, and all the shellfish, starfish. You're just stroking my ego. <laughs> now you want to shoot. How about we need to try from this line? You're going to teach me that way? So I got to miss it? Yeah. Okay, I can yeah. try. I got to miss. Go ahead. Yeah, I missed it. Yeah, I'm doing that. My eyes are looking at the... Right. These are my eyes, I think, over here. Okay, now i got to get it in. Uh -huh. Look at that, man. Looks like a fish farm. What would you eat? Well, smoked salmon. Barbecued salmon. Why did I ask? Salmon soup, salmon stew, oh. baked salmon.
pasture. All day long I've been hearing no GMO. I want to hear yes to organic. Because on a subconscious level, we want to give attention to that which we want to have. So everybody, yes, organic. Yes, organic. My suggestion, first and foremost, is to never give up hope. The fish have lessons to teach us. That just because human beings are constantly trying to one-up the fish with their egos and yep. think that we are somehow better than the rest of the species, to continue representing the magic and the strength that fish have. Because after all, we know that fish, year after year, regardless of what people throw at them and the kinds of things that we do through our habitat, are very capable to continue on with their species, overcome large obstacles and barriers. And as a result, they're a huge metaphor for what sh people should also be doing for the environment. And that's overcoming obstacles and barriers. Being that I'm almost human, my head got so big with all those platitudes. Thank you. No worries. Yes, thank you. GMO salmon eggs are raised in PEI. They're sent down to Central America where they're growing and then they're selling the fish. Bad deal. Actually, I think it's virtual sand dollars. With, uh, you know, they get to buy a, you know, 20 foot by 10 foot condo downtown somewhere where the air sucks, and spend the rest of their life paying off a mortgage to a bank. That's like closed containment. <laughs> there is a similarity there. Gee, is, it, would, that be, would that be good or bad for me as a human? Well, I think they're getting the same feed as the fish farms. It's just in a different form and nicer packaging with good marketing and promotion by centralized mass market media authorities. He's a very busy fish type man and He's got a lot of good things that he's campaigning for, but he needs the public opinion on his side. So vote for Will. Vote for Will. <laughs> Help him legislate that bill. I gotta find my watershed. That's the story. I'm lost. Are you like a vampire? These are good questions. I'm gonna. We're going to do this part later, but these are good. High five. Nice. Hey, uh, do you want to play some more basketball? Oh, man, I'm totally tired. OK. Well, hey, you know what? There's some basketball going on inside right now. Want to go and watch a game? Sure, man. Do I got to move? Yeah, you're going to have to. OK. Come on, you can do it. All right. Where are we going? Is this a smokehouse? Because if I go in there, I could oh, get... No. You're safe. Really? Yeah, you're okay. It's a gym. Just go in. Hi. Hey, buddy. What's going on? watershed and as his travel flight continue he gets distracted and he starts talking to people. I've tried to use iMovie, I suck at it, so I can imagine this is a bit more difficult. <laughs> Where are we going? Go watch some basketball. You sure it's not a smokehouse? I am positive this isn't a smokehouse. Okay. Oh, all right. Whoa, look at them. Oh, Will, the salmon, pleasure okay. to meet you. We're yeah. Team Flower Power. Hey, nice to meet you. That's the fish bump. Yeah, 
we looked at the time. <laughs> so um, what have you guys been doing here today? We are Team Flower Power and we are here at the March Against Monsanto. Basically our goal here today is to educate the community. There are many people out there that actually don't even know the concept of GMO foods. We're bringing costumes, we're bringing a joyful perspective, we're bringing a positive attitude, and we want to show people that we're out here uh, not with negativity, not with hate, not with shame, not with guilt, but with love for our people. We want to communicate the message of the food revolution. Educate yourselves, educate each other, educate your family, educate your friends, because this is our future. Do we want a future of love, peace and prosperity, or do we want a future full of GMO foods, disease, and loss? Those are the only choices, eh? It's pretty good, it makes it pretty easy. One of them, his name is Major, Major Trouble. Major Trouble. And then Officer Safety, our, um, their job is to keep the salmon wild and you know, he's got to try and throw them back in the ocean. What would you do if your parents were, were taken by fish farms? I'm not quite sure. I never met him. Why not? It's how we roll. Hmm. Being a fish out of the water, well, aren't you afraid these random authorities are going to come and get you? Uh, who's that? Kind of like the police, but more random. Okay. Excuse me. Random authority. I do believe that you're a fish, and I see that you're wearing rollerblades and carrying a hockey stick. Um, I'm afraid that that's against the random rules, and I'm going to have to write you a ticket for that. Okay. Can I eat it? Um, I don't suggest you do that, or you will get a ticket for eating the ticket. Try it and see what happens. Well, okay. Okay. It doesn't taste very good. So, here's your ticket for eating a ticket. That'll be another $300. What is that? Okay. You have 30 days to pay that, That's or enough. we will be putting you in a cage, preferably a fish farm. Right in bylaw tickets, and that's the whole uh, authority thing. And then if, he's, if he accumulates too many tickets, he might get thrown into the open net pen, like the, the pen. Yeah. What? Come Hold on. Hey. Sorry. Hey. You're going to come with us. Call the media. Hey. Call the media. Yeah, call I'm the media. videotaping this. And uh, there's apparently there's a rumor uh -huh. that the mayor has been smoking salmon. <laughs> you heard about this? <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you th what do you think about that news or that rumor that we're spreading? Um, I think it's a good idea. I mean, I think everybody should smoke their own salmon, preferably if it's you know I'm a fish, eh? Harvested. <laughs> Five, four. Hi, I'm Nitra, and I'm Aisha, and, and we're part of the, the Wild Salmon, salmon Children News. news. My name is Nietzsche. I'm a reporter with my accomplice, accomplice, friend, buddy, person. Aisha O'Sullivan. And who are you with? I'm with the WSCN. And what's that? It's the Wild Time and Children's News. <laughs> Great. And so this is your studio? Yes. And uh, how did you get this studio? Um, an unbirthday from my dad. An unbirthday. What is an unbirthday? Um, so they're like what, 365 days in a year, right? You have one real birthday, so you have 164 days of unbirthdays. Every day is an unbirthday. And so, what do you do here at your community studio? Um, we do basically a lot of stuff, most anything. There are no words in the Elvish. Entish, or the tongues of men, for this madness that Enbridge is bringing upon British Columbia. And we say that this pipeline should not pass. Aisha, how are you? Hi. How's the water? We're in water? How was the water? Was it good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. All right. So, um... Um... That looks like a watershed, but it's kind of small. I wouldn't fit in there. So, um, 
you would need like a special license for that. Explain your role here. I talk to salmon. How is that experience for you? Well, it's a giant fish. You don't get giant fish that often. <laughs> So, uh, there's, there's reason to believe that the mayor of Vancouver, Gregor Robertson, has been smoking salmon. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, if you um, saw a video of the mayor smoking salmon, would you hold that against him? I would, I would try to find something to trade for the salmon. Is that just for your own personal trade or you're actually advocating for less salmon smoking? If you mix your salmon with tobacco and roll it up and smoke it in your mouth, it's not good because it can give you lung cancer. Uh, do you like salmon? I love salmon. Salmon's great. Do you have a license? Do you have the license to fish them? Yes, you do. Do you have one? Oh, do I have a license to fish them? No, I don't fish them. I just buy them. So us salmon got to survive many threats, political, industrial, indigenous, hungry people. So we, we, got, we got our work cut out for us, but uh, we thank the indigenous people for protecting uh, Mother Earth. So uh, yes. we, got, we, we got a good report here, but still sometimes, you know, it's like, you know, I got to outrun you guys. So. That's right, that's right. Because so, you, know, you know, we as indigenous people, we are people of the land, not necessarily owners, but preservers of the land. And that including, includes many of the species that come up and down the Fraser River. Hey kids, welcome. It's Wildy Salmon here in the Wild Salmon Children's new studio. We have Kelly White with us, joining us today. How are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. And uh, the Salmon Handshake. So, this beautiful blanket is yours, I understand. You have a story around it? We sure do. Oh, well, the star quilt derives, I was taught from the Cree in uh, Hobima, Alberta, as well as the Lakota in Rosebud, South Dakota. And they recreated the star blanket around World War II for healing and doctoring of the veterans when they returned from the war in shell shock, homeless and without medicines. The, the great grandmothers and grandmothers made the star quilt for the veterans to go top of the mountain, fasted four days, and came down and sun danced for four days. And the one for their vision quest, for their name, for their song, uh, their blessings from Creator, and the will within themselves. And the one that they wanted to honor for helping their entire life, they were the, they were given the blanket after the in honor of their survival, in honor of their work for their people. And in those days, not everybody could be. You had to be asked, and you had to show that you were honorable, and you had to be asked by the people to dance for the for the nation's honor and protection. So that's where the blankets come from. And I wanted to bring it to Art Sound Therapy Studio. And I was honored to be invited to show the world unity on there, the red, white, black, and yellow depict the four seasons of the year for the salmon, the deer, the the crawlers of the earth and the two-legged. The colors also depict the four nationalities of the four, four directions of the world, all life and the tiny tots to the teens, adults, and the grandparents' lifespan of, uh, of healing and promotion of working in unity together. That's the definition of the Lakota and Cree elders. Wow. And there's a lot in that blanket. There is. There's a lot of honor. Mostly healing of the nations and united resistance to apathy and giving up. It's to strengthen and lift up the, the family, the recipients. Like the fish 
swimming around all the different parts of the earth, eh? That's right. Like the schools, they all travel in schools together and protect each other and look out for each other. And there's no gospel or written document or mandate or anything. It's just a given. The Creator gives the gift of honor and protection and shelter to look out for each other. It's just like, just like the salmon people. How was the salmon van? Yeah. <laughs> sitting, <laughs> sitting idle. Don't you even get like a sand dollar or two? Nah, maybe a few cent cents. So you make some sense. It's, just, it's sitting idle, but it won't idle. It's just in a stable condition. Apparently, I'm not actually supposed to be on concrete. I'm supposed to be in the water, and I, I get. There's a random authority that writes me bylaw tickets for taking on human qualities. Well, there you go. We don't want that to happen. Standard <laughs> vehicle care. Yeah. I'm just going to let it rest for a little while. Hopefully in a month. Until the cops forget about it. My job is it to enforce any not-so-random rule. This is a song about Vancouver winters, which really aren't that bad, let's be honest. We got it easy. You just need a good raincoat and a pair of rubber boots. But when the rubber boots get tiresome and you're looking at those flight center, you know, those cheap flights, this is a song about that time of year. I wish that December was July Or I wish you and I would find the time to go away To some place cheap Where we can meet the locals You should choose a fruit bowl for your dad I will pay, it's his place All of the ladies will say they've got something we'd like You scan the sand for the camouflage pants They know to watch out for our kind We won't survive and it feels like a fine time to fly it Feels like a fine time to fly Just a last minute flight We lay up in Denver for most of the night Surrounded by strangers and dying to fly When we arrive The view to the ocean is nice Helps us forget about our winter lives. Those are the bottoms you know that I like. And the boys like to stare, but I really don't mind. And the boys like to stare, but I really don't mind. And the boys like to stare, but I really don't mind. All of the ladies will say they've got something we like. car running I don't see the bus coming and it might not make it to our plane on time we're so cold winter's long gotten old sitting here on the road so goodbye we're so cold winter's long gotten old sitting here on the road so so long adios and goodbye Survive. What a perfectly fine time to fly. It's a perfectly fine time to fly. What a perfectly fine time to fly.
appearance outside a watershed. Any form of alternative transportation, which especially for a fish, pretty much anything is applicable. That makes the job pretty easy for me. Pretty much any time I see Wilde, uh, I have a reason to hand out a ticket. We would like to interview you as a, a scientist and as a friend of the fish, if mm. you've got a minute. Sure. So, um, apparently there's some diseases out there that uh, I should be warned of. Is this yeah. true? Yeah, you should slip on a condom before you go by a fish farm. Uh, because uh, whether it's local diseases or exotic diseases, uh, they make a lot of them. And it's completely unnatural, you're just not built for it. Hey, kids, mothers and fathers, check out salmonalert.org. Be careful what you're eating. That farm salmon's kind of fishy in the wrong kind of way, you know what I'm saying? Peace out. Wild salmon forever. Don't eat it! Don't eat it! No, don't eat it! Don't eat it! So you better, you know, suit up. I, I, yeah, this is the <laughs> thing. And, and so also, you, you've been testing some of my cousins as they, they, they go into mm. the watershed for these horrible diseases. Uh, what could I expect? Well, if you go through Juan de Fuca, you'll probably be fine. Uh, if you come by Campbell River, you probably have Piscine Rio virus. Um, it's about 10% chance you have ISA virus. And about if you're steelhead, you know, you have a high percent of chance of having salmon alpha virus, but otherwise, uh, you know, maybe two or three percent for salmon alpha virus. Oh my God, these are horrible. They do yeah, they're leading salmon killers in the world and um, they follow fish farms everywhere as they go, like, you know, shadow of death. Flu, flu season, have you had your flu shot? Well, your ISA shot? So you have to prevent him from getting viruses? No. But the rule is... Leading salmon killers in the world. They follow fish farms everywhere as they go, like, you know, shadow of death. The uh, government of Canada and British Columbia just don't believe in them, um, which makes it easy for them to deal with it, but it might be a little harder for you to deal with it. So mm. as you, I would, like, keep your gills shut and just go fast or go deep. Yeah. Do we enforce the immunization? Yeah. It's totally random actually, yeah. yeah. Do they really have that sense of actualization? Because they're just fish. Their brains, they're not as large. So um, now if I get this right, um, <clears throat> you would write tickets uh, to Will for his safety. Yeah, obviously it's all for everybody's safety. So, and a ticket is going to teach him a lesson um, that, that will help him to stay safe. And, and so if he, he accumulates too many of these tickets, you will, uh, I understand, throw him into the pen. Yeah. Can you explain the, what the pen is? Well, we have outside the coast, uh, especially for fish, and I think that somebody was really like thinking ahead. We have... Uh, fish tails, right? We call them fish farms. It's just kind of like, it's a nicer term. So Nitra, uh, do you have any tips for um, children that would like to be wild salmon children's news reporters? Um, you would have to uh, be able to interview people you don't know that well, and you'd have to also know the fish. It's jumping. We're going to take a left and then another left and head up to the terminal where we're going to let Kinder Morgan know what we think. reporting live for the WSCN at some beach place and we are going to be asking Luca some questions. <laughs> so I heard you going on the kayak too? Yep. Are you going to be scared or are you really excited to do this? Have you ever done it before? Nope, but I'm really excited. Why are you going on the kayak? Well, we're, um, we're going on the kayak because we, it's a protest for stopping pipelines. What about the pipelines? Um, well, they can hurt animals. Like what kind of animals? 
like whales, dolphins, clownfish, and Clown that fish. kind of stuff. What? Clownfish. Don't kill fish, clownfish. I know, I said clownfish. No, you said kill fish. Say clownfish. Oh, just forget it. This is Nitra signing off from the WSCN at some random beach. Uh, the end. Uh, this next song is a true story about a friend of mine um, who struggles with addiction. And um, we had a conversation together. It, was, it really affected me um, where I learned from him that if he has one shred of hope, then he can make it. So this song is dedicated to him. I met a man at church on Sunday I could smell the scent of whiskey on his breath As he sang Amazing Grace After the service I shook his hand And he asked me to pray with him So I bowed my head Listen to him say I want to change but I don't know how I've lived a selfish life And I'm paying for it now If there's a chance You can save a man like me Even one shred of hope Then I choose to way, joined a class for a aim at others who had wandered the same path. He told them out of his troubled life, his struggles between wrong and right, how he'd take one step forward. to believe even one shred of hope then I choose to You know, here's a good spot here. See this black stuff here? That's what you're looking for. Cause like it's gotta be gooey and sticky. Like that covers the ducks. And the bitumen cookies, I'm just gonna show you one. Hey, they're really healthy for you. They're really good. They're made like hamburger patties and out in the sun to dry. And they're really good if you're pregnant to eat them because then you might have a son of a bitch human. 
Okay, so I'm like what they call a capital ass, and uh, this is how I'm gonna try and make money from the bad uh, bitumen and make these really, really good cookies. Oh, that's good. You're good at work. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just put the youngsters to work, eh? I don't like to bend over. <laughs> Okay, yeah. You could even lick your fingers after. <laughs> Don't worry, you won't die for a couple of years. You know? It's, uh, that's Stephen Harper. He's just given us, uh, capital asses. Lots of good opportunity. Hello, my name is Nitra. I'm with the WSCN, and I'm here today, uh, interviewing Martin Sparrow, and he is a one great to Carver. I'm pretty good. So I've been carving for probably about 12 years and um, I was a fisherman at first for, I fished for almost maybe 30 years out in the Fraser River. So I kind of feel, you know, through the years as I was fishing that uh, it got harder and harder to go out there and fish because of, you know, the government always had control over it. So and when I realized it was getting harder and harder to be out there fishing, um, you needed another income. So I got into carving over 12 or 14 years ago. So I just do it just to uh, keep in balance about who I am. I am from Musqueam and um, been uh, feeling kind of distance, you know, from my own land, you know, because... I grew up and the city wasn't that big when I was a little boy, but I always had a hard time, you know, with my mom and dad and because of residential school and um, my grandparents, they, they never told us very much because of, uh, you know, the our culture of carving and the culture of ceremonies that we, we used to do. So as the years, the early 40s, whatever, they they were they're taking our culture away. They, they took away a lot of our language, you know, for the last hundreds of years in residential school. So my father was never taught by my grandfather because of what was happening to the children. So I see you're a carver because lots of carvings back here. Um, uh, can't you tell me a little bit about that? So all these different animals that we were carving all through the years and like this little hummingbird, you know, Everything is a cultural and it's all part of who we are. So our people always carve different things that are important to us. So this is a hummingbird and it's from a, it's not Salish, but it, so there's a lot of things that we, we carve today just to remind our, the government, you know, all the things that we're here because everything is suffering out in the ocean right now. The killer whales are suffering and the seals are suffering and, Anything that depends on our fish right now is suffering. Right, we call them fish farms. It's just kind of like, it's a nicer term, but like at the end, uh, you know, the result is the same. Like, Will is kind of used to swim around or whatever, and you know, if he accumulates too many of those tickets, then he has to stay in a very confined area. Normally we deal with human, right? So having all of a sudden a fish, cross our passes on a regular basis um, is also still like new for us, figuring out random rules that we can apply to a fish. So, uh, so you just make them tentatively, up. Tentatively, yes, I would say. And so uh, you've, you've made available your studio for this show? Yes. And so how does Will get in here? Um, there's a portal over there and we have to say Fleeu! continuously to get him to come. So what is a portal? You really don't know what a portal is? Uh, well, you know... Some so there's one portal in one place, one in the other. And so he comes through one and comes out the other. And, uh, uh, so are there certain rules in the portal? All the other normal people have to come through with a normal door. Right, unless you're a kid or you're a salmon or you're someone who we've inv invited. And so that's the special rules of the portal? Yes.
It's Kukum's Kitchen. Hi, Kukum. Hey, it's Wadi Salmon. How are you, buddy? <laughs> so, uh, you have a cookbook? It's world famous. Who's world? Oh, the big one out there that uh, everyone talks about. Yeah, that one. Here's my world famous recipe for clam up chowder. And it truly is world famous. All you need for the ingredients are a clan of clams, because the kind on the beach are just too stinky. And you need a bottle of glue and some salt and pepper. Um, you empty the clams into a pot and you mix in the glue, nice and good. Heat on medium for 10 minutes. Serve at meetings with corporate heads, politicians, poverty pimps, oil and gas people, or whatever destructive forces there are to Earth. Now you can see why it's so popular. They'll think it's yummy, but won't be able to talk after. Oh, <laughs> so it's really great at press conferences. Don't bother cleaning up after. Just add dirt and plant a nice flower or some fresh herbs and put in your garden. It's a completely sustainable recipe. Now you know why it's so good. And this is the recipe for you to make today. Major trouble. I'm with the random authority. This event is over. Oh, sorry. It's all right, are you okay? I just hit you with the mic. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're filming. Sorry about that, thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Please, play, play with me, look at me! Come on! Hi, how you doing? Great. Have you heard uh, the rumor that the mayor's been smoking salmon? Thank you. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, all the best to you, and please, please make it known to, to all the people. Did they train that in uh, Cabaret security? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we salt it, put it in tinfoil, and uh, leave it out back for a while. That's not smoking it, but it's, it's a very similar taste to smoking it. Don't ever do that to me, just so you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it tastes terrible. I wouldn't let anyone Thank do you, that. thank you. If you do find a video of uh, the mayor smoking salmon... You'll be the first guy I talk to? Well, send it to us, not to Toronto. It's been two hours here. We're uh, with... Uh, outside of this cabaret here and uh, checking if the mayor has been smoking salmon or not. We don't know if he's inside, but uh, we know one of the counselors is here. Wildy Salmon, we're, we got the Wildy Salmon uh, community TV show. So uh, how did it go in there? Went really well. We had a standing room only crowd, lots of great questions. It was great. We got lots to follow up on. I have a question. There's a rumor that the mayor has been smoking salmon. <laughs> Can you? Uh, he, he, he did confess to that. It's he did. True. Oh, he did. okay. So, so uh, can you? Uh, do, is there a video? Is there any details you can? Uh, I don't have anything other than the fact that he has confessed to smoking salmon. <laughs> uh, as, so, did he have a permit or like what? what <laughs> was it cold smoked or dried wind? Do you have it? You know, I don't know that we've done that follow up work yet. You know, we'll be tracking him down. I'm right? sure you we, will. We did. We did a request and uh, we didn't get any response. Okay. Well, I'll let him know that you've, uh, you're following up. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> okay. Uh, let him know it's a fish like character. Will Will D Salmon. Will D Salmon. Yeah. Shaw right. on 1 a.m. So if he's up that late, uh, d reading uh, council minutes, he often is. channel four. <laughs> All right, I'll let him know. That you All right, thanks. Up. Yeah. As I said, major trouble here. My name is Sorry, and why are there still people here? The show is officially over. Good night. <laughs>